Hello friends, my name is Dathya Sachdev and today here in this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can use multiple images in background of div or any other element with the help of CSS3 property. Friends, before we start, let me show you the finished output. Have a look on this image. It contains three background. One is giraffe, one is mushroom and the third is the base. Let me show you up my local folder. It was giraffe, it was mushroom and the base image. Now with the help of CSS3 property we have combined all them three so let's have a look how to do it here i have already opened up adobe dreamware cs6 I'm opening an html document you can use any code editor software you want title multiple background. Let me save up my file. First, let's have a div. Say div with the ID of multi image closing this div let's have some css for this div using internal style sheet multi background image let's browse image scene.jpg now let me have background position to be center background repeat be no repeat now I want to assign a width and height to this div the width and height will be the same as what width and height I have the image of so 600 by 375 or you can resize this image according to your div. So width I have 600 pixel and height I have is 375 pixels. Let's save up. Let's reload. So far, so good. We have our first background image. Now let's have another one. Just let me copy this scene.jpg, comma. Now instead of scene, let me change the scene to be giraffe. dot png
Now I have to position this giraffe.png. Now instead of center, I want giraffe to be positioned. Right. But let it separate us with comma. And I want again I want it to be no repeat. Let's save up. Let's preview. See now I have image of giraffe on my main background image. Now what if I wanted to this giraffe to be instead of right let me have it left. Let's save up our document. Let's reload. So now it's on the left instead of right. Now let me make it repeat. Let's save up. Let's refresh. See now I have repeated image of giraffe. Now notice guys the sequence you assign for the images should be of same. First image is giraffe. So position for giraffe should be first specified. And position for scene should be second. Now let's have our third image. Say third image I want is copy paste mushroom.png I want mushroom to be position left and to the giraffe let me make it again right background repeat no repeat for the giraffe and again let me have same for this mushroom let's save up let's refresh See now I have image of mushroom here. Now I don't want mushroom to be so tight to the left. So let's see how to play more with background position of the images. Say I want it 25 pixel from the left. Let's save up. Let's refresh. See now, it has been pushed 25 pixels from the left now. Now we could also have it like 25 pixels, say top. Let's save up the document. Let's refresh. See now, the moment I refreshed, it's 25 pixels from the left and moved up on top. I could also make it like Say forty pixels from the top. Just taking an example to let you know. Let's refresh. See now it has been pushed now forty pixels from the top. Or we could also have it like left. Top. Let's save up. Let's see the result. See now it is 0 from the left and 0 from the top. Now let me make it again 25 pixels. Let's save up. Let's refresh. So it's look fine to me. 
So this was all about multiple background image. But we can also use shorthand property for the same. Say, let's have background URL. Let me have URL mushroom first. Now, now position for mushroom say 25 pixel. Now, let the background be no repeat. Now separated with a comma. Let's browse another image. Say I want it to be giraffe. Now, now position property for giraffe. Let it be right. And again background no repeat. The third image that is seen. Now let's have position of center. Let's make it again no repeat. Now let me remove this detail specification. Let's save up. Let's reload. See the output is very same. Now one more thing guys. The steam.jpg is at the last as it's the main image. What if I move it to front. Let's see. Control X. And let me paste it here. Comma. Remove this comma. Let's save up. Let's refresh the page. See the image of giraffe and mushroom disappeared. Has hidden behind this main image screen. So. So we should have first the image we want it on the top. And the main image should be at the bottom. Let's save up. Let's reload. So you can use number of images as a multiple background. So this was all about multiple background friends. By using CSS3 property, do subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. Have a good day.